Alright guys, I'm on my way to CrossFit May Day. I was uh, been at FT all morning making phone calls and stuff. Um, one of my clients saw a video and she was like, you do not need to be videoing yourself while driving, which I'm obviously doing now. Um, it's not as dangerous as you would think. I literally have to just hold the camera. It's not like I'm, you know, looking at it and paying attention to the phone. All I gotta do is hold it. Not a big deal. Anyways, I'm gonna do some front squat, clean and jerks, some, uh, some snatches, stuff like that today. Not too sore from yesterday's hypertrophy in the upper body workout. I am still not fully recovered from Saturday, however. Those deadlifts really took it out of me, uh, and that really hard wad, so um, I'm going to auto-regulate everything today, and um, I'm just going to kind of go by feel. I'm going to hit, I have certain weights that I definitely am planning on hitting, whether I go for a high RPE on those weights or not, just kind of depends on how I feel at the time. But as of right now, I feel pretty good, but I definitely not All right, you can see here on squatting. I'm actually having Anyways, one of our members all in the next clip. We'll probably be squatting. This is a 245 pounds squat. I'm doing two reps here. This is actually something close to a 10 rep max for me, but um, due to the fact that I have not recovered very well from Saturday, I decided to just stick with two reps. And also, I'm being really conscious of my groin, even though it's not it's not hurt me per se um, right now, but it felt a little tight, so I want to really take it easy. And we'll see how the next uh, couple workouts go over the next few weeks. All right, you see here, I'm working on some clean and jerks. I'm just uh, moving weights around. I, I'm doing um, what in CrossFit we call an EMOM, which is every minute on the minute. And I'm uh, adding 10 pounds to the bar every single minute. I'm just doing singles. Uh, my plan is with the clean and jerks, almost always I will, um, I will work doing singles on the minute until I start to get out of breath, adding 10 pounds every minute from 135 on up. So, you know, usually around 185, 95. I start to get a little bit out of breath. Then I go to every other minute, okay? See my cleans, it's just a power clean and split jerk. Um, power clean, because again, I'm, I'm, a, I'm very conscious of dropping in the hole right now. It's a lot easier for me to drop into the hole. I'm a lot stronger of, uh, with the lift if I do that. But uh, again, the groin. Uh, also, with the split jerk, I uh, started feeling the groin a little bit there. So you can see here, what I just did was a, um, I went with a push jerk. All right. Now moving on to some hang power snatch. Okay, again, nothing heavy here. Um, I could really feel a difference from the the fact that I did deadlifts so heavy uh, the other day. My nervous system's still not there. Um, nothing's firing really quickly and, and explosively. And pretty much anything done from the hang position, I'm not very strong with anyways. I definitely need to become a lot more explosive and just keep getting a lot of work in here. Um, I have, my hand position has gotten a lot better. I can really just um, feel it just snap into place and my elbows are locked, shoulders elevated. That part of the, part of the exercise feels really good but again um, from the hang, I'm not as explosive as I could be. Okay, now we're on to my conditioning workout, or you can call it a wad. Uh, you're coming in at the end of the power clean portion. How this workout went is I started with double unders, did 100 reps as fast as possible, immediately going into the power clean at 135. I had 50 reps to complete, and you're seeing the last 10 here. Okay, I'm starting to fatigue. I'm not moving real slow. I did all of these one at, one at a time. Didn't bother to link any together. Just keeping my technique. Because I knew I had uh, 50 of them. If I started, you know, with doing sets of five or more, I would have burned out a lot faster. So I just try to keep a consistent pace. Just doing one at a time. 
Okay, and there's the finishing, finishing up 10. Uh, here, I'm uh, back to the double under. So 100 double unders and then 50 power cleans at 135. And then back to double unders, 100 of them again. And the second go round was a lot harder. I screw up quite a bit. I'm not able to get more than 10, 15 linked together at any given time. Okay, there's my start, and I think I cut out here. And um, you're going to come back in with the last 20 or 25 of the double unders. And uh, that's what I did right there. Pretty much got all these unbroken. I decided to really just turn up the pace here at the end and just get as much in as I could. Finish that. Now I'm on to the final exercise. After the second round of toes to bar, sorry, <laughs> after the second round of double unders, I have toes to bar. I have 50 of these to complete. And again, I'm, if you see here, I'm taking a little bit of a break. Uh, and you'll only see a couple of them. I'm not going to video all, you know, have, show you guys all 50, but that's the toes to bar. I went in sets of five, I think, and I might have given you guys the first 10 or something like that. But yeah, um, all in all, the the wad took about 19 minutes or so, a little longer maybe, but um, that's pretty much all there is to it. Have a good